Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the man. She's has always got another money play video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a money play that was first run against me. I brought this to you guys in a gameplay a couple days ago. I'll have a link in the description if you guys didn't catch that. A guy was running against me online, and I could not stop it. He basically went the entire game without throwing an incompletion against me. So I had to take it into the lab. I had to find out what he was doing, uh, and I figured out not only what he was doing, but I figured out how to make the play even better. The play that he was running against me was essentially a lot of dink and dunks that I couldn't stop but I essentially took that play in the lab and found out how to one play just about every single defense in the game so as always if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section or just help me out with a like just because it helps out my channel I really appreciate that now the play itself is out of the gun bunch offset and the play is called the double post now this particular play is in four different playbooks it's in the Dolphins it's in the Eagles, it's in the Colts, and it's in the Panthers. I'm using the Dolphins because I had a request for the Dolphins playbook. That's how it works. If you guys let me know in the comment section what you want to see, a lot of times it results in me making videos about it. And since I saw that I wanted to make a, a video about this play anyway, and it was in the Dolphins, I was like, okay, I might as well make a full scheme about it. And that's what I'm doing. So, like I said, I'm going to first start off with a double post. This will probably be the only play that I show in this video, but I will have more plays. So, if you guys want to see the full version of this video, you can either check it out on my Patreon or on my join now community tab or hit the like button Woo! in the comment section and I'll probably put it out on the weekend I typically like to put out like longer full breakdowns uh, on the weekend so hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do that but for now we're going to do the gun double post I'm going to pick that on the defensive side I'm going to pick random because I'm going to start off showing you guys a way to play this that you can just basically dink and dunk and run it all game. And then I'm going to show you guys individual ways you can run this to home run every defense. So the way that my opponent was running this, and like I said, it was pretty good. It's not its not the first time I've seen this trick. It was pretty easy to figure out. All he was doing was putting the RB route on a drag. That was really what gave the most issue was the drag. And I think it's called a table route, which is what the, the running back is running. They essentially act like double drag. So one of those guys will always be open. Other than that, you have Gaseki here, who is probably the best route on the play although right there I mean, for number one you can just see the separation that 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 route creates i think gasicki would pretty much always get open but it's just perfectly spaced let's go ahead and let's watch the replay because i was i was staring down this tight end here i really wanted to hit him nine times out of ten for whatever reason this guy gets open he didn't get open here though which is kind of weird but if you see how this is spaced out perfectly underneath you have him springing the spacing and this they're just spaced about 10 to 15 yards apart going in opposite directions there's not a defense in the game that has enough zones uh underneath to cover these three routes when you see this spacing here i mean i probably get it through the drag the running back and like i said typically this tight end's open but you're basically going to make your reads like that you're going to start with the tight end and you're going to work your way from right to left and you're just basically going to pick whoever's open between these three routes so the best way to use this play to me is against cover three it's an amazing uh cover three one play touchdown so i'm going to go ahead and pick that on the defensive side we're just going to pick cover three sky it really doesn't matter so to me this is one of the glitchier cover three one play touchdowns in the game uh, and it's going to be something your opponent will never expect i think it's best to run it from the hash mark but i've had success running it from anywhere on the field to be honest with you i'm going to run it the best way though to get the best reaction to make, really make this cornerback over here glitch out and i just remembered i want to make sure that tredavious white i want to put tredavious white to a point where he can be lit up by the way i, I, I want that i want him to get an interception here which i I almost messed up. There we go. He got an interception. Cool. So now that, uh, you know, Jadavis White is lit up, I'm going to, you know, glitch him out. Even with him being in, um, you know, in the zone, I'm going to glitch him out right now. All you have to do is put this RB route on a fade, and you're going to see how he's essentially not going to know how to react to all this coverage responsibility. And you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown over the top. Now, that was pretty good coverage by the safety. Like I said, that's one of the reasons it's best sometimes to motion over the running back. Let's go to the replay and see what happens. This here, like I said, the fact that I'm running this to the short side of the field, I think is the reason that this cornerback glitches out the way that he does. But like I said, you can run from anywhere on the field and it'll still have success. But essentially, the cornerback, or uh, Tredavis White, is going to have a problem reacting to who he's supposed to cover because Parker here, when he basically does this route here, you're gonna see that he reacts to that and slows down. He really doesn't know who to cover. So you can see, typically cornerbacks aren't gonna flip their hips entirely, but that little bit of, of, of hesitation is all I need 
for this one play touchdown. The second I see him do that, the second I see him kind of, you know, hesitate, glitch out to a certain extent, which is I'm sure what I'll say in the in the title of the video, I'm already loading up. If I go back to this quarterback here, the second I see that guy shuffle his feet and get lost, I'm bombing it up, bullet, pass leading away from the safety. It's an easy one play touchdown. So I'll go ahead and do it again. Like I said, that's why sometimes it's best to motion this guy out. It takes away from your protection a little bit because if he's in the backfield, you can um, actually, you know, pass block him. I don't think it really affects the play at all. I'll do it like that here in a second. But you can see, once again, easy hesitation. And we're getting like five yards of separation easily over one of the better cornerbacks in the game while he's in the zone. So, like I said, you see there, now he's not lit up anymore. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, if I want to, I can pass block him. I can slide my protection. None of this matters. The B route is what that uh, what that cornerback's reacting to. That's what Tredavious White is reacting to. Uh, and you can see right there, no running back going to that area. It doesn't really matter. It's He's not reacting to the fact that there's multiple routes in that area. So that running back is really capable of doing whatever you want him to do. Like I said, I'll also motion this ball over and run to the open side of the field just to show you guys it doesn't really matter. It's just you have to run it from a hash mark. So I'll go ahead and do that again. Like I said, I'm just going to I'll pass block my guy here. Actually, you know, the safety is really far over too, which is nice. But I'll go ahead and I'll bring him over. Like I said, I'm, I'm surprised. They're giving me way too much space on this open side here. And that guy is going to glitch out again. And we got an easy one play touchdown. Now you see the separation wasn't quite there. And if I didn't have Jalen Waddle running that, there's a pretty good chance that he would not have gotten passed. So that's why, like I said, it's really best... Typically, you want to run plays to the open side of the field, especially when it comes to cover three. But with this particular play, it's really best to run to the short side. You can see he still hesitates. He still kind of flips his hips. And then he does, you know, this is something that EA, um, for whatever reason, these zones do. They just kind of spread out. But you can see it's still going to have success. As long as you have a speed advantage, you're still going to get past that. But this definitely works best squished against the sideline. This is going to be the optimum way to run it. This play can be cover for a drop and cover for pawns, but it does it in different ways. We're going to pick that. Um, all you really have to do against cover four drop is put the X route here on a, on a smoke route. That's all you really have to do. I, I can put this guy here on a streak just to try to pull coverage back and block my running back. All these things are not really important, but the RB route will get past that cornerback pretty easily, which he really shouldn't be able to do. Now, you do need an elite speed receiver for this to work, but if you have a guy like Tyreek Hill, you're playing regs or something like that, which is essentially what I'm in, um, you know, Jalen Waddle, you can see that you can have success. But ultimately, um, this is not something that's going to work in a mutt, I would say. Uh, but you can definitely, um, you know, this is definitely something that uh, you can have people pulling their hair out online. You can see, like I said, once again, if you have an elite speed guy, you're going to get past that cornerback, which you really shouldn't do. But it's really based off the fact that you have such a speedy receiver coming across. Um, let's go let's go to the replay. I mean, this 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 cover for court, or corner here is really just reacting to that. He's just kind of, you know, not really fully committing to his zone. And then this guy here just comes running across so fast, he just gets behind him. So, like I said, don't necessarily try that in mutt, but online regs, you'll have success as long as you have a fast enough receiver. Also has a lot of success against cover four mats, which is cover four palms, cover four quarters, stuff like that. This play here uh, against cover four, I would say the best thing to do would be to motion out the running back again and just put them uh, both the X route and the running back on uh, 10 yard comeback routes. That's all you like to do. Block the A route and that's all she wrote. The RB route will just smoke any safety across the field. Now there's some pressure there. That's the only downside to motioning out that running back. Let's go and let's do that again. You can see that he was past it. Cover four quarters is pretty easy to beat if you know how, um, but this is pretty much it. Like I said, this RB route, the second he gets inside of that safety, and this is one of the best secondaries in the game, by the way. It's one of the best safeties in the game in uh, Poyer, uh, one of the best secondaries in the game, and it just does not matter. Just getting absolutely roasted. You can run it as is, and the RB route will still get open because he's fast, but ultimately you can see with that other safety, he's just gonna do a slightly better job. So you can run it as is, but if you wanna run it the best possible way, motion out this running back, and uh, you know, this is pretty much the play here. I mean, you got six blockers. I can put Kaseki on a block and I can double team guys and all that stuff and still have a lot of success. And then Waddle's just gonna roast just about any safety in the game. Maybe Tyron Matthew might be able to stay with him. Not really. I mean, you know, it's not even about Waddle's speed, it's just about positioning. He has no position. These cover four quarters don't do a very good job. They almost act like man coverage, but they don't really rely. Like, I mean, he's open right away. He's 15 yards down the field, he's got five yards of separation. So, you know, that's that's going to be a nightmare. I don't think you're going to see a lot of cover four quarters this year. Also has a lot of success against man coverage. 
ultimately cover one is probably going to be the best one but cover one or cover zero but let's go and let's pick a cover one against man cover one the rb route still to play i just want to dress it up i'm going to put the b route on a streak and put the a route on a drag or a pass block it really doesn't matter you have the running back as a check down and then you have the rb route which he's just going to get across the formation in a hurry like i said i mean that's just this this route here it's a pretty good route i mean it beats a lot of different coverages but you know this is this to me is kind of obvious i mean ultimately the rb route here um, just as long as he gets inside release as you can see right here, man, it's really just, you know, that's a lot of that has to do with Waddle just being a superior athlete. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still a man being route at the end of the day. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more from this formation or more from this playbook, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.